Hey, what is up guys, VB Gaming here, and in this video today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get custom colored grip tape for your skater on Skate 3. So let's go ahead and get right into this. So the first thing you want to have is a USB flash drive. You're also going to want to have an Xbox One if you're trying to do this on next gen, and a 360. If you're trying to do this on next gen, you do need a 360 for this. So um, it's kind of a lot, but still. If you guys have those things, you're all set and good, and you're all, it'll work, okay? So the first thing you want to go and do is go open up any one of your browsers, and you're going to download this right here. And you're also going to want to go to Google and type in Horizon right there, and just enter. And then it should pop up, where is it? Uh, da, da, da. New Jersey, hello. Uh, right here, it's this one. The best Xbox 360 modding application. So we should go and click on that. And just go and click download now. And add extension, we don't want to do that. Sure, why not? Okay, if you're using that, you just gonna, no, no, no. Skip, download, oh, cancel. All right, so it's downloaded. Oh, God, I started another one. Pause. All right, so we're going to go ahead and open it. And it's going to go to open up a setup like this. So just go and click install. Yes. Oh, so stuff does pop up on the screen still. All right. So, now once you have Horizon downloaded, you can just go ahead and minimize it for now. We're not going to be using that until a little bit later. I opened up two copies. I don't want to do that. All right, and uh, now you're going to want to go ahead and get your USB drive out and just simply go ahead and plug it in. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to this right here. Now, I have just formatted mine, so there's nothing on mine. If you guys have stuff on yours, uh, I recommend backing those files up. If this is uh, if you're, this USB drive is just for one-time use, I recommend just putting them on your computer. And once you're done with it, just go ahead and put those files back on it. Because you're going to want to go ahead and format it for the Xbox. And it cannot have anything, any PC files on it because uh, the Xbox is going to erase it anyway. So, um, Just to format a drive, all you're going to want to do is go ahead and right-click on it and go ahead and click Format. Now, my capacity is 15 gigabytes. You don't even need that much. Uh, you're going to have the FAT32 set as default. Any of these, the Xbox will not work with. And uh, just keep this as normal. You don't want to touch any of that. And just do a quick format. And you can go click Start. Now, since mine has just formatted, I'm not going to even bother doing it again. So, um, once you got those two things downloaded, I'll see you guys on the 360 because we're going to have to do some work on there. Alright, so now that you're on the Xbox, you want to go ahead and navigate over to settings over here. Let's go ahead and go over to settings. Then you're just going to go ahead and go to system, storage, and now your current hard drive that you have in, uh, which is this one for me. Um, if you guys have like the, uh, the special system, I have an external hard drive, or not like an external hard drive, the one that goes into your Xbox, but you can take out and stuff, I have that one. But um, some of you guys may have this one, or you may even have your save three, skate three saved to like some of these um, uh, USB drives. But depending on which one you have your main save on, you're gonna want to go ahead and find it. Now I believe my main skate profile is on here. So let me let me find it. So skate three right here. And I believe, nope, that's not mine. This is mine right here. All right, so what you're gonna wanna go ahead and do, you're gonna take your flash drive that you had in your computer, and you're gonna go ahead and put it in the Xbox. All right, so now that I've just plugged it in, we're gonna go ahead and go to hard drive right here, and go back to games and apps and find your Skate 3 again. So we're gonna go down to Skate 3, and now this is my profile right here. We're gonna go ahead and click copy. And we're going to go ahead and copy it over to your USB storage device. Alright, so now that it's copied over, what you can go ahead and do is put this USB drive back into your computer. That's all we need the 364. Alright, so my computer just had a complete mental breakdown, but um, we're back on here now. So you're just going to want to go ahead and plug in your USB flash drive. And now I'm going to blur this out over here as it does have, have some of my profile's per personal info in it and stuff. 
So there's nothing on this flash drive, so you're just going to go ahead and click on games right here. And you're going to see right here, it's going to say Skate 3. Just click on the little arrow again and just go ahead and drag this out here. Now, uh, I'm probably going to have this section blurred out over here once again, uh, as it does have personal info on it. But you just want to go ahead and get that save file from earlier. You're going to go ahead and get that save file from earlier that I showed you guys, the one right here. And just, uh, oops, hang on, let me refresh so I can just have the download link right here. Um, just go ahead and copy that, or not copy that, uh, just download that if you guys haven't already. And it should download... All right, now just open it up uh, with like 7-zip or like whatever pops up or if you have WinRAR, it'll pop up with that. And you're gonna see this right here. Just go ahead and drag this in Horizon also. Now, I don't know wh whose title ID this is, so I'm also gonna blur that out. But you're just gonna wanna go ahead basically and copy, take your, your original file and you're gonna copy the profile ID, device ID, and console ID over. So, we're going to go ahead and just select all, copy, and control V paste, then do the same. Oops, hang on, I made it. Oh, oops, 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 oops. Oh, wait, never mind. Never mind. I'm good. I'm good. I thought I messed up for a second. All right, so then we're going to go ahead and copy this over the device ID, copy, and we're going to double click, delete here, and paste. And also keep track of which ones are your yours. You don't want to get these two files mixed up, otherwise it won't work. All right, so now now that both of our info, uh, both info thingies match, you just want to go ahead and click up here to save, rehash, and resign. All right, and you're gonna click save to device, flash drive, save changes before transferring, yes. And you, would you like to overwrite it? Yes. Oh, hang on. Also, you're going to want to close uh, your original one before doing this. So just close your original one, and then you can click Save to Device, and just do this all again. Yes, overwrite. And now it was successfully transferred the flash drive. So now you can go ahead and close this. And just to make sure everything's good, just open up your games, and then you should find it in there again. Um, if there's nothing in there, that means that you didn't copy the device IDs and stuff over and you pretty much just deleted your character on Skate and your uh, your Xbox is not going to be able to recognize it. But um, now that we've done that, we can just go ahead and go on to Skate 3 on the 360 and I'll show you guys how to transfer it over the next gen. By the way, if you guys are doing this on 360 and you're not wanting to transfer it over the next gen, all you have to do is just plug your flash drive into your Xbox 360 and load up that one in Skate 3 and then you guys are done. But let's go into the Xbox so I can show you guys how to transfer over the next gen. All right, all right. So we're on the 360 now. So to transfer over to next gen, all you're gonna want to do is go ahead and go to your hard drive right here again. Or actually, no, I'm sorry. Um, take your USB storage device out of your uh, out of your computer and go ahead and put it back in your console, obviously. All right. So now, once it's plugged in. All you're going to want to do is just go ahead and go to your USB storage device and go to games and apps. And now the skate uh, three file you have right here, just click Y on it. And you're just going to want to go ahead and click copy. And you're going to copy it over to your cloud save data. All right. So you're going to go ahead and get this uh, message that pops up right here. Just go ahead and click yes, replace item. And it's going to go ahead and copy and it's going to upload it now to do this feature you're actually going to want to have live so if you guys don't have live you won't be able to transfer it over to next gen um i so personally for me this kind of interferes with me because i don't actually have like live i'm actually borrowing it from a friend i know that kind of sounds kind of bad but i actually do get it off of a friend so for this video and uh the sake of getting this color grip tape i just went ahead and bought like a one month so if you guys want to do that just to transfer the grip tape over i guess you can do that but it's just going to go ahead and upload and once it's transferred over just go ahead and look in your cloud real quick well you can yeah there you go and your skate 3 is right there uh and this is your skater right here so 
what you're going to want to go ahead and do is go over to your one and we're going to go ahead and play skate three. All right, so we're on the one, so let's go ahead and click on skate three. Now that we deleted the last save data, it's going to go ahead and sync the other cloud storage that we did. So just go ahead and let it sync. All right, so now we are in, and as you can see, I do have the color grip tape. Now this personal one is pink. Uh, you can find other uh, like save data online that will have different colors, but uh, the one that we just downloaded was pink. Um, now I'm actually gonna go ahead and customize this skater because I actually kind of, I think he might be in goofy. Nope, he's in regular. Um, but yeah, if you guys did enjoy, don't forget to smack the like button and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. All right, so as you can see, it did work. Now this personal grip tape, uh, the one that we downloaded today was pink. Uh, you can find different colors online for different types of grip tape or different colors of grip tape, I mean. Um, but this personal one that we downloaded was pink. Uh, so anyway, guys, if you did enjoy, don't forget to smack the like button and subscribe, guys. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Ends off a little bit of banger there. <laughs> Maybe you should pull the fucking trigger. Pull the trigger.